the most amazing things about living and working in the same area is getting a, an idea of a sense of community. That you do get a sense of everyone's here for a reason. Good morning, how are you? Not too bad, thank you. This place is just a latte if I could. Thank you. Quick coffee to wake me up. There's a lot of restaurants and bars around that have created quite a unique local identity, so we do get to you know, spend a lot of time in bars and cafes and restaurants together, which is a nice way to live. The unique thing about this area is the beach is so close to the city of Melbourne, so it really does provide me with the inspiration for my food. Australian wine is a really important part of who I am as a chef. What the winemakers are currently doing is you know, really inspirational. They're better balanced, finer structured, and they're juicier and, and fleshier. We're actually seeing more of the wine coming out with less alcohol. It's great that these days people do relate the food and wine scene together and it's great that we can pair the two sorts of flavours together. With our Italian culture and heritage, Food and wine have always been together. We've been lucky enough to have a region that is diverse, nestled in between the ski slopes of Mount Buller and Mount Hotham. The region naturally produces wines that are earthy, they're savoury and textural as well. It's really important for me to get out of the kitchen and back to the farm. Tim, what I think is great about coming out to see you is the fact that I can get a little history lesson of where the cattle are coming from yep. um, and, and understanding you know, how the flavours do relate to what we do use in the restaurant. It's good to have you here again, Ollie. And you know, as you can see, the cattle are happy in the open air, such a clean, green environment. Mm. Gippsland's renowned for its natural green pastures. These cattle are probably two and a half years old, so they've had time to mature, time to lay down their fat in the form of marbling. So that marbling adds a lot of flavour to the beef, obviously. I think it's really important to know where the flavour comes from and understanding you know, what pasture they're fed on and the marbling that is going through the meat, for me, is really positive. Australian food and wine is in a really bright place at the moment. I think it's got a great future and for me personally to be a part of that is a real pleasure.